Hey, welcome back to Wisco Boater Channel. My name is Chad, and uh, I don't normally, well, I don't normally, I've never done an unboxing vi uh, video, but I thought I would lead this video off with an unboxing for a new piece of equipment for the big boat. And um, being that the holiday weekend is just about upon us, today's Wednesday, uh, we'll be spending the weekend on the boat and um, hopefully have some good video to show you over the weekend of uh, some uh, things that we do in Door County. But I am gonna start this one off with an unboxing and that is to replace the Lowrance Global Map 3200. This is a functioning unit. Uh, it's just old and black and white. It's, well, black and white. It's green and gray, the screen. Still works fine. Um, in fact, I'll probably take some pictures and shoot some video of it um, over the weekend when I replace this with what is in this box right here. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this Lowrance, great little map. We used it, we did use it last year. Um, it's, uh, it's got a little card slot, but technically not updatable. The last update on this unit, I believe was 2003. So really, really out of date. Um, but somebody that has one of these might want it for parts. Uh, but for now, covers going on this. There we go. I bought the uh, Ray Marine Dragonfly. This is the 4 Pro. And I agonized over this decision for weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks. I knew I was going to replace the Lowrance and I wanted to get it replaced before we actually go do anything on the water up in Door County. And I looked at everything from Garmin's to Hummingbird, Hummingbirds to newer Lowrance's, uh, large screen, small screen such as this. This one comes with, uh, one of the reasons that I bought this is, for, I mean, there's a good value in this. Comes with Navionics Gold, which is a nice little, nice little bonus. Paid uh, $299 for this with tax, I think it was $316 or $317. So I'm not gonna power it up today, but we'll just start the video off by showing you. So the screen here, Oh, look at that. You can see a, probably a screen within a screen within a screen within a screen within a screen. Within a screen. <laughs> anyway, the screen is actually from uh, there to there where my thumbs are. So it's a 4.3 inch screen. Now, it's a small screen. And the, the screen on the Lowrance was only four and, a, um, four and a half, five inches, I think. And with all the big screens that are out there nowadays, you might ask, why the small screen? What's the interest in having a GPS uh, uh, with sonar? This does have a fish finder on it. Don't really plan on using the fish finder, but sonar, sonar will be kind of neat to see, uh, need to have uh, just to see what's under the surface. I'm not really looking for fish, but we will fish a little bit, but I'm not a fisherman. Um, the, the really cool thing about this is it's Wi-Fi enabled. So whatever is on this screen will Wi-Fi to a tablet. So I've got an iPad mini, which has got a, what, a seven inch screen on it. So that takes, or maybe even an eight, eight inch screen. I don't remember how big it is. But that will take this 4.3 inch screen Wi-Fi to an iPad, which will give me a much larger screen and larger than any of the five inch screens that are out there, which is pretty much the standard run-of-the-mill type of screen that you'll find at $300 range. So I paid 300 bucks for this, but I will get a, the capability of a larger screen um, on the boat and it can stream to any, any mobile device through Wi-Fi through the uh, Raymarine uh, Wi-Fish app. So for now, we'll run the iPad mini and uh, maybe at some point even upgrade to a, a newer iPad with a much larger 10 inch or 11 inch screen which would be uh, pretty awesome. So yeah, so for now, that's it. Um, 
other than I guess I can show you under the uh, the, the cardboard here you've got uh, the transducer cables mount uh, the associated hardware the instructions are all here so this will be uh, this will be neat I'm looking forward to installing this when I get up to the boat I may actually go to I don't know which way this went in so I'll be looking forward to installing this when I get up to the boat here um, I'm gonna go up a day early just to get things cleaned up to make sure I don't scratch or damage it So that's pretty cool. Really happy about this. Um, I, there's really good reviews on it online. And this has been around for a few years now, but um, I think really one of the best values for the money out there because of the fact that it comes with Navionics Gold mapping and the uh, Yfish app, which expands this screen from 4.3 up to whatever size tablet you have. All right, we are on board uh, the big boat. Uh, just me and Jersey, she right there. Uh, she will be our usual uh, lake dog or bay dog this summer. Probably won't bring the other dogs up here all that often, but she's with me today. I am working on getting the camper canvas put up. So got the bimini up and the first piece put up on the side here. A little breezy today comfortable temperature but uh, a little bit breezy out so I'm not gonna be able to video a whole lot of uh, this process I've got a whole bin full of stuff out there hopefully it's not blowing away to bring in and uh, Miss Jersey here is gonna hang with me while I'm doing this today top is up the uh, Isinglass needs to be wiped down and cleaned I mean it's it's just all dusty and dirty, so got some water spots on it. Got a really cool Ranger tug sitting next to us here. And the uh, it's actually two slips over. Um, but uh, yeah, the Isinglass just needs to be wiped down. Uh, that one's really dirty. Uh, the new poles are up, doing just fine. I do need to replace this one. It's just it's not quite form fitting as well as I'd like. Um, it'll do okay for now, but. I'll need to fix that at some point. So a little bit of a cloudy sky out there right now. Let's go over here. We've got a kind of an ugly sailboat sitting next to us and they slip right next door. Uh, cool boat, but uh, yeah, tops up all around. So, yeah, everything's looking uh, looking great. No, no issues getting it up, even though it's really quite windy today. Um, it was uh, actually not bad at all. And other than replacing that one pole, um, I think it's uh, I think it's going to do all right for this season, and uh, maybe look into doing all new poles uh, at the end of the season. But for now, it's good. It'll get us through the season, I think. All right, got a lot more unloading to do. All right, well, I'm back home. I didn't do a very good job of doing uh, shooting any video really this afternoon um, while I was out on uh, the Regal in the marina there, but it was so windy today. Um, I got the canvas put up, everything looked fine. I think I may have already said that. Um, and you just kind of got things ready for the weekend, uh, getting the bed made and all that stuff. But um, hopefully shoot some video. We're gonna do the renaming ceremony coming up here in just a few minutes, uh, which will actually be in a couple of days. But for you, a couple of minutes, maybe a few seconds. I don't know when this video is gonna get edited. Uh, but I do wanna show one more thing before uh, we cut to that, that is um, I picked up my new, uh, not my new, but I picked up the carpet from the Bolt Boat Upholstery and Carpet Guy. The cool thing about this, this these were just one piece of carpet. And I had him split and rebead the edges here. So this piece will now just stay in place. Um, probably got to fit some snaps on the backside. Um, but this, the problem was this piece here in order to open the engine compartment up to vent it before you start each morning, this whole piece of carpet had to come off, which was a pain in the ass. So I had him, that's why I had him cut this right here. So now all I have to do is undo that snap and I'll probably put in one more snap here. Undo those two snaps, 
fold it over, open the engine hatch, and then put the carpet right back down. So much easier. And I'm really excited to put this on the boat this weekend. Hey, what's going on everybody? We are up in Door County at the Slip for Memorial Day weekend. There's Britt, I know she loves being on camera. We brought a little jersey with us, hanging out with us on the bow of the boat. Got a band playing in the background right there at Sunny's. And uh, we are going to do the renaming ceremony of Big Red as soon as that band takes a break. All right, I think the band is about to restart, but we're gonna do this anyway. Um, we are renaming the boat officially, so I'm gonna go through and read the whole thing to rename a boat officially so we can appease the gods of the water and the wind. O oh, mighty and great ruler of the seas and oceans, to whom all ships and the to whom all ships and we who venture upon your vast domain are required to pay homage. For your graciousness to expunge for all time your records and recollection of the name Big Red, which has ceased to be an entity in your kingdom. As proof thereof, we submit this big knot, bearing her name, got it in my pocket be corrupted through your powers and forever be purged from the sea. Bye bye Big Red. In grateful acknowledgement of your munificence and dispensation, we offer these libations to your majesty and your court. And pour from east to west, red one. Exalted ruler of Eastwind grants permission to use your mighty powers in the pursuit. 
just bearing us the overweight scar of your mighty breath. And now facing south, Great Notus, exalted ruler of the south wind, grants permission to use your mighty powers in the pursuit of our lawful endeavors, ever sparing us the overwhelming scourge of your scalding breath. At this point, the boat is renamed, we have spoken to all gods, and we are allowed, now allowed to consume the remaining red wine. We'll go to the back of the boat and reveal the new name. Okay, we will now reveal the new name of the boat. Speak the boat's name now. Okay. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. All right, it is uh, Brittany's 40th birthday today. I'm out taking uh, Miss Jersey for a walk. But uh, you can see Brittany's just relaxing on the front of the boat. And uh, we're just going to go for a walk down the uh, little walkway down there. Come on, Jers. Beautiful day in uh, Sturgeon Bay. And uh, we're just gonna do whatever, whatever Britt wants to do today. If she wants to relax on the boat, we'll relax on the boat. If she wants to go to a winery, we'll do some wineries. I know we're gonna go out to dinner tonight, but whatever she wants to do. This is Sturgeon Bay. We're out at the end of the uh, jetty here. I guess is what we'll call it. It's just a walkway that comes out to the uh, to a point here. That's the Fincantieri shipyard over there. Shipbuilders, ship repairers, and uh, some very well-known cruise ships come from that company. They're not built. Those cruise ships are not built here, but uh, they do Great Lakes uh, um, shipping vessels over there. It's uh, Stone Harbor Resort over there. And we'll call this uh, Millionaire's Row in our marina and Harbor Club. And then that looks back across the marina over towards Sunny's, where you can't quite see Clifford, but it's over there. You ready to go the other way, Jersers? All right. All right, well, I am uh, starting to work on the installation of the Dragonfly. Got both panels, the switch panel, the fuse panels pulled off. Start by mounting the base mount. And uh, get it mounted, run power. Uh, there is a circuit breaker down here that I can use that's uh, dedicated for GPS. So I'll just tap into that for power. And, uh, Try to make sense of this giant page of instructions. She's not helping. But it is Memorial Day weekend, and uh, as it is a bit of a rainy day today, we're just kind of chilling on the boat this morning. Um, I worked on getting the Dragonfly put in the rest of the way. Well, not the rest of the way. It's not powered yet, but this will be the setup. Uh, I'll run, that's Navex which I won't, probably won't use regularly, but uh, I will use the Wi-Fish um, app on the iPad uh, to run Navionics off of the Raymarine. So this will be powered and we'll sit right there. Um, phone in the middle for whatever. And then the larger screen uh, with the iPad mini over here. So, I just wanted to get the mount installed over the weekend, and next time I'm here, I will get the, the power run and uh, we'll get the thing fired up. So 
Got a little bit of work to do to put the panels back together. Actually, it's not that big of a deal. Just some screws that uh, hold those in place. But I may end up pulling all those wires out and refinishing the panel because it's kind of nasty. Same thing with the binnacle up here. Uh, I'll probably end up pulling that off and refinishing that as well. So, but uh, happy with this progress for this uh, this holiday weekend. It was all the weekend was more about having fun and not doing any work on the boat. But Britt's in the shower right now, so I got a little bit of work done. All right, Memorial Day weekend is over. Brittany turned 40. <laughs> Did you have a good weekend, hun? It was a great weekend. That sounded so enthusiastic. No, we don't need to remind him how old I am. <laughs> but we had a great weekend. We had a great weekend. All right. Awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody.